Luxury goods are a scam. I was checking out an episode of the podcast, The Minimalists, and they had a very interesting, thought-provoking, a very insightful conversation where they had very successful men. I think it's two guys who are entrepreneurs, business people, who are having a conversation around luxury. Now, is luxury a concept that was made for people who are not super wealthy to aspire to? Or is luxury a concept that was made for super wealthy people to enjoy? It's food for thought. You're going to have to do the dishes. When you look at it from the one hand, it's like there's all these things, all these brands and all this soft life that I'd love to live, that I'll... That I, that, I, that I would like to enjoy one day, these things that I'd like to buy, these brands that I'd love to have on my body, these cars that I'd love to be inside off and drive them, and these homes, these amazing homes that I'd like to stay in, and, and um, these big screen TVs that I'd like to own, this artwork that I'd love to have, and just this type of furniture, and this type of gold that I'd like. Was that created for other people who do not necessarily have the money, such that when they do have the money, they're always trying to get some sort of validation by trying to always go for that Mercedes Benz because I can just barely afford it. I can just get it from the bank. The bank can borrow me the money. I can just barely get that BMW. I can just barely get that entry-level Porsche. I can just barely get that second-hand entry-level Ferrari. I can just get a score somewhere and just buy all these Burberry's and Louis Vuitton Balenciaga's and all these brands? Or is it a concept that was just designed for the super wealthy where if I wanted to, I can buy like a thousand Louis Vuittons. I can buy a thousand Gucci's. I can buy a hundred Ferraris if I wanted to. Do I still want to own a Ferrari if I'm on that level? Do I still want to wear big name brands on my chest if I'm on that level? And I'm talking about the super wealthy now. Then you get people who are super, super, super wealthy. Not super rich. Super, super wealthy where it's great, 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 great. generational wealth that has been passed on from generation to generation to generation it's mostly obviously the white people say say the royal family or say you know one of those families lmvh uh ha what is it lm lvmh family um the jean paul gaultier family the um the gucci family like their great great grandkids right who are now running those businesses. Like they were born into wealth and that's all they know. And for them probably putting on a Gucci t-shirt or, 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 or buying a, a Moe champagne or driving a Ferrari, a Bugatti and all those types of cars, it's normal. Yes, they know that it's luxury, but for them it's normal because it's all they know. Do they even aspire to have anything else? I guess that's why... Super, super, super wealthy people. When we get to read up on them, we get to find out. Some of us even get shocked on some of the things they get up to. Because imagine when you've got, when you, if you had that much money. I mean, what more do you want? Do you have to still go get educated? Probably yes. But do you still have to go get super educated? Not really. Do you get brought up in this family business so that one day you're able to run this family business and enjoy? your inheritance i don't know but it's probably what you know luxury is all you know like you grew up with eating with gold cutlery you grew up just going to these yachts and just flying not just first class always flying private do you know what i mean like it's normal to you the type of understanding that you have as far as wealth is concerned or luxury is concerned is a different type of an understanding as opposed to somebody else who's just barely rich or somebody else who who's just maybe middle class or somebody else who's poor 
who still who aspires to that type of lifestyle that you grew up in and you are used to it very very interesting conversation and i'd like to put the link in the description of that podcast i'd like for you to go check out the entire episode and listen to those rich men or let me say wealthy men speak about this topic speak about this conversation very 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 interesting and the name of the podcast is called the minimalists right and there are, there are minimalists people who are who might have been successful who might be successful but they don't necessarily subscribe to the luxurious life you know they prefer less is more but yes they probably still own a couple of brands they all probably still own a ferrari or two they probably still stay or own holiday homes or own a yacht but then there's other people who are who are rich but would prefer just driving an ordinary toyota ordinary um tesla ordinary um baki but then maybe you go to their home it's an amazing home but it's not necessarily like luxurious or flamboyant but it's just a decent home you know so there's levels to this thing and I don't think I'm one to speak to, I'm, I'm, I'm not the person or the right person to speak on this topic, you know, because I'm not super wealthy. You know, probably my great grandchildren will be one day, but um, I've been blessed to, you know, say they categorize us as what, like the middle class in South Africa, to have been the middle class pretty much almost all my life. And um, I've tasted you know, some luxuries where you aspire to this, you aspire to drive that, you aspire to stay in that, in that um, estate, you aspire to have this type of home, you aspire to buy this type of art. And once you get a little bit of money, you buy all these things, right? And once you've tasted it, sometimes, well, I'm talking about myself, sometimes it feels like, okay, like there, is, there isn't really much to this. And I know a lot of the times when you, when you, when you don't speak highly of the luxurious life or the soft life, other people they'll, they will always comment and say, look at this broke guy speaking. What does he know? He's not wealthy. He's not the right person to speak on this topic. But as somebody who's tasted a little bit of that, I would say um, it's an interesting podcast. That's why I'm even vlogging about it. That's why I'm even talking about it and doing a video on it because I'd like for you to go check it out or I'd like to hear your opinions on the comment section, right? Because those men there, one of them actually says, luxury is a concept that was designed for the poor to aspire to. Other people disagree with his opinions. And then the other guy says, well, I'm pre-luxury, meaning he's very successful. He's rich, he's probably not wealthy or super wealthy. Well, that's what he tells us we don't know. And he is the one who's hosting and conducting the conversation and facilitating the convo between the um, other two men. And he just has got some interesting points as a minimalist and as a minimalist platform. Very interesting conversation. So because we all work hard, we all want to become these business people, we all want to start all these businesses, we all want to become successful, we all aspire to this soft life. What type of soft life are you aspiring to? So that you can have everything paid off so that you can have some things to live for your children or so that you can have this glamorous amazing life and when you do get it will you show it off will you be subtle about it or do you want like that super 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 wealth type of lifestyle where it's not just that you are showing it off but it's just a part of your life we all aspire to success, but what type of success are you aspiring to? Because somebody else can say, I want to be a successful teacher. And they become that. And they just get a certain salary to earn a living and have a life cover, medical aid, provide for their family. They're able to take their families on vacation. They've got three cars in the home. They've got a car for their wife. They've got a car for themselves. They've got a big car maybe for the kids. And they're okay. And somebody else is a doctor. Somebody else is a lawyer, but they're not like super wealthy. What type of success are you aspiring to? And what is your definition of luxury? And do you agree with that minimalist podcast or the topic where they're saying luxury is just a concept for the poor to aspire to? 
I don't know, it's just food for thought. You do the dishes. <laughs>